This one was given me by Grandfather David, the spokesman of the Hopi Indian Nation. He came to a rainbow gathering. He's between 103 and 110 years old. Gave us our vision, part of our prophecy. Long ago, before the Indians first split in different tribes, and before the white man came to the New World, the creator of all things sent strange tribal beings to the earth. They were all different shapes, sizes. Some were quite large and ugly. Others were dainty and beautiful. They all had much love in their hearts. The large and ugly ones dwelt in the trees and mountains. The dainty and beautiful ones dwelt in the waters and valleys. Soon, though, they all came together with the Indians, who taught and were taught much. Eventually, they ended up breeding with the Indians. The children of the magical creatures were beautiful, behold, yet down to earth like their parents. Soon, though, however, the white man came to the new world. Magical creatures had died. For at the first part, the white man was a very cruel species. Eventually, the magical creatures found what few kind white men there were, they bred with them. After a while, because of civilization, there were to be found no magical creatures known anywhere to mankind. As I say, known anywhere to mankind. Because even today you can find magical creatures living in the woods or perhaps traveling down highways. So be very careful when judging people in life, for you never know what sorts of magical medicines it could be hiding. Our bloods are ancient, and them flows life, and we were all put here as keepers of the earth, and as brothers and sisters. Someday the world will realize it, and it will be magical again. Mm -hmm.